Hello, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang. I'm Taiwan's digital minister. I'm very happy to be here virtually to share with you the progress of marriage equality in Taiwan. We're the first place in Asia to constitutionally recognize marriage equality through a unique collaboration between three branches of government. We have the Constitutional Court's interpretation on May 24th. We have the President's responses, and I'll share with you the administration's work since then to prepare a bill for the Parliament. The rulings of the Court are as follows. At the moment, the provisions of Chapter 2 on marriage, of Part 4 on family of the Civil Code, do not allow two persons of the same sex to create a permanent union of intimate and exclusive nature for the committed purpose of managing a life together. The set provisions, to the extent of such failure, are in violation of both the people's freedom of marriage as protected by Article 22, and the people's right to equality as guaranteed by Article 7 of the Constitution. The authorities concerned shall amend or enact relevant laws in accordance with the ruling of this interpretation within two years from the issuance of this interpretation. It is within the discretion of the authorities concerned to determine the formality for achieving the equal protection of the freedom of marriage. However, if relevant laws are not amended or enacted within the said two years, then two persons of the same sex who intend to create the said permanent union shall be allowed to have their marriage registration effectuated at the authorities in charge of household registration by submitting a written document signed by two or more witnesses in accordance with the said marriage chapter. Afterwards, our President Tsai Ing-wen's statement are as follows. The President supports marriage equality. She firmly believes that both the supporting and opposing sides place a great importance on family values. She understands the importance that many religious groups place on the family. And she has also heard many stories from LGBT families. There is no absolute conflict between family values and marriage equality. Therefore, the President has instructed the executive departments to draft a bill in accordance with the outcome of the Supreme Court's judgment. Since then, the executive branch has been meeting weekly, led by our Secretary General, to review the Civil Code. As of this recording, on June 17th, five points were guaranteed for the same-sex marriage, including the age of marriage at 18, equal application of both the formalities and restrictions of marriage, that the same marital property laws shall apply, and, but clauses unfit with the nature of same-sex marriage, such as the seeking divorce on ground of impotence, may not apply. Next week, the review meeting will focus on the general effect of marriage, including cohabitation obligations, fidelity obligations, and family names. And while we are making progress on the review, the President reminds us that the outcome of this judgment is not about winning or losing, nor is the bill its final objective. Instead, facing a major issue that has the potential to divide a society, the President has called for a continuous dialogue, for an attitude of understanding, for inclusiveness, and for respect between the parties who do not yet share the same opinion. The President believes that Taiwan has a mature democratic mechanism to resolve any differences, and we would need to listen to people with opposing views and find the values we share. Thank you for listening.